Hey everyone, I'm 12 News Meteorologist Stephen Matrigano here with a Weather Now update. It's a great end to our holiday weekend. We saw some rain overnight last night into this morning. That has since pushed offshore. We're seeing sunny conditions and warm temperatures as well. Here's a live look outside. This is the capital city of Providence looking nice out there. Certainly warm and uh, the humidity levels are actually pretty comfy in places like Providence. We're seeing dew points in the upper 50s, but overall, nice afternoon for our Labor Day. Live radar showing that rain that we saw earlier this morning and overnight last night, pushing well offshore. And then we have a weakening line of showers and embedded thunder coming through upstate New York and parts of western Massachusetts. I do think this will continue to kind of weaken and fizzle on out as it approaches southern New England. So overall, I don't expect us to see any rain, but a, a passing shower cannot be ruled out over the next couple of hours. But again, most areas will stay dry. And uh, temperatures right now, upper 70s, low 80s will do it. A nice warm afternoon across the area. Providence checking in at 82 and Newport checking in at 76 degrees and the vineyard at 77. Now the dew points, this is where, depending on your location, means it's either comfy or more humid. Notice how Providence, Smithfield are in the upper 50s for dew points. Well, places along the coast are looking at dew points in the upper 60s, like Newport and Westerly out towards Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket and Block Island. So depending on where you are, it might be more humid than other places. So just keep that in mind if you're traveling this afternoon. Now, muggy meter going forward, we're all going to take uh, a drop into the 50s for our dew points on Tuesday. So much more manageable and comfortable conditions coming our way before it ramps back up for the middle part of the week as our rain chances increase. But look at that, it goes right back down towards the end of the week into the weekend. So let's time things out for tonight. Again, we're staying clear and dry for the most part, maybe a passing shower through this evening, but uh, temperatures dropping back into the 60s overnight tonight, clear skies right through Tuesday morning, sunshine developing for the morning hours and temperatures rising through the 70s through Tuesday morning into the afternoon. So again, a quiet day weather-wise, temperatures topping out into the upper 70s and a few uh, places may actually reach 80 degrees during the afternoon places like providence attleboro smithfield also as well could touch 80 degrees briefly during the afternoon so overall very nice september day coming our way for tuesday and it's actually my pick of the week in terms of the forecast and we're staying quiet right through tomorrow night with temperatures dropping back into the 60s so notice how there's no major weather concerns over the next day or so beach forecast it's a great day to go out to the beach as well as have some dinner outside or do any kind of activities for your tuesday mostly sunny skies temperatures in the upper 70s and uh, the water temperature is now around 70 degrees but keep in mind to that yellow banner we have a moderate rip current risk coming our way for tomorrow and actually our rip current risk will continue to increase as the week goes on and that's because Hurricane Larry, which is a Category 3 storm well off into the Atlantic, is going to be passing near Bermuda to the east of Bermuda uh, over this week. And as it pulls away from southern New England and goes out to sea, it's going to be trending up our waters quite a bit. So we're going to be seeing increasing waves and also the increased risk of rip currents. So keep that in mind if you're having any beach trips planned for the rest of this week into the weekend. We'll have to be watching that closely. That's the only uh, impacts that Larry will bring us. It'll continue to move offshore and well away from southern New England. So that's your latest Weather Now update. We'll have more updates throughout the night and in the coming days. So make sure you check back and we'll talk to you soon.